Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Big Bear Outdoors. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in here again. Uh, we're going to start off this 2017 season with a trip to Canada that me and the old man take every year. You guys have seen our videos before, we've done pretty good. Last year actually, it was our best year ever. We caught about 320-ish inches of fish and this year we crushed that. We got 591 inches of muskie in our week up there at uh, Red Wing Lodge in Ontario. So we're not going to waste any more time. We caught a lot of fish. We caught a lot of nice fish. So let's go. We're going to check it out. The very first day we got there, we never really seen a whole lot of a fish. We didn't really get a whole lot moving. But day two began the fish. It We caught a nice one right off the bat early in the morning. And it paid the entire trip for us to get up and be the first boat off out of camp every single day. So let's uh, not waste any more time. Let's slide on over and let's check it out. All right, we're out here. It's our first morning here in Lake of the Woods. Uh, we tried to get up super early. Uh, I guess it's technically our second early, early morning out here. But uh, we tried to get up super early this morning. We ended up sleeping in a little bit longer, but we were still the first boat out of, out of camp. So thankfully it paid off. Uh, I just got snagged on a rock. So I was just hanging out, monkeying around. Whoops. Uh, just hanging, hanging out, monkeying around, and then my next cast, I pulled one off of that same rock. So we can check them out, take pictures, back to it. All right, beautiful Lake of the Woods muskie, you guys. First one of our trip, and he's definitely, uh, definitely one worth catching, no doubt. Forty-four and a half. Here we go, forty-four and a half, Lake of the Woods musky. Awesome guys, gotta love it. All right, we're gonna take a couple pictures and get back to it. As always, you guys are watching Big Bear Outdoors. One of those teeth, guys. Fish with teeth. That's what Big Bear Outdoors loves. Whether it's walleyes on the mighty Missouri or. Muskies in Canada, fish with teeth with Big Bear Outdoors. <clears throat> Day two, eight o'clock in the morning, we got out again real early and uh, this is the first, we actually saw two fish earlier and uh, coming into a little bay and uh, I hooked into this one. I think it's uh, mid 40 probably so it's still kind of a little lively um, letting it sit in the net and uh, um, pull it out measure it take a couple pictures and we're gonna release it real quick so okay you guys ready here we go oh. here we go Lake of the Woods musky it's heavy all right, let's weigh this. Or measure it. Forty, forty-seven, forty-seven, even. All right. First musky all year. I'm gonna take some pictures real quick and release it. You ready? Yep. Alright, with 6.28 in the morning, we got out here at 5.30, pushing it hard, came up on a figure eight, and then I lost it, and I figured I didn't see it, it swam away. Next cast over, come right to both sides, hit it. Uh, 
it's got a couple of scars on the tail from from the past. That was interesting, but uh, she's kind of heavy. Let's uh, quick measure it, take our normal pictures, and get her back in the water. All right. Forty-seven. Another forty-seven. Nice. 47 and a quarter, I guess we'll call it. Okay. All right. Tough fish. She's already twitching. She's gonna go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, how about that, huh, guys? That pace getting up in the early in the morning. We darn near slept in today. But we said, nope, let's go. So, uh, God rewarded us with a 47 inch pipe. Uh, musky red pipe. What am I thinking? God rewarded us with a 47 inch musky right away. Back at it. We uh, we moved this fish twice now. We uh, my dad, my dad moved him on a on like a minnow bait here a little bit ago. This fish come in. He looked like he wanted to eat, just wouldn't commit to making uh, make an event out of the situation. So we kind of went off, fish a little bit other stuff. Come back ten minutes later, and he was hot after my bait. Still wouldn't commit. So we did the same thing. We waited a little bit. We're like maybe he's just not quite ready. And this time he was ready. So we're going to take a look. This is another nice fish. We're having a hell of a trip up here this year. Is it ready? Another beautiful fish. Oh, look at that. Finally decided we wanted to take a bite. It's what we like. Watch out, it's still. 43? Yeah. Uh, 43 inches of Lake of the Woods awesomeness. Got her on blades. They're, they're sick for those right now. We love it. Alright, let's get some pictures. Awesome. that enthusiasm you had a second ago. It's going right back to where it was. <laughs> Says, I'm going home. Enough of that. Said, I'm done messing with old Marco and CJ. You know what that means? I think it's time for lunch. <laughs> Even though fishing is, to a degree, a little bit of luck, sometimes you gotta just grind it out to catch some fish. And me and my dad, we did that exact thing on this, this trip to Canada. We got up really early where almost every single day we were the first boat out of camp and we usually caught a fish right away in the morning. It really paid off for us. And we were usually one of the last boats in from camp. But, uh, I mean, we fished hard and we fished, we fished a lot of hours, pitching a lot of baits, a lot more than a lot of other people in camp. And it seemed to pay off for us. So, I mean, not always is it just 
pure luck, but sometimes you really got to grind it out and you got to fish hard, but also fish smart. And we really patterned a lot of fish on this trip as far as figuring out what we needed to do, where we needed to hit, and when we needed to hit them. And you guys will find out in you know, a lot of these clips that one of our big tricks was to, if we moved a fish, come back to them later. And the last fish and this next fish were direct results of that tactic right there. All right, so we raised this fish a little earlier. My dad did burn and blaze like we like to do here on Lake of the Woods. And we went and fished a couple other spots. And just a couple minutes ago, I lost one in the weeds. It dove in, and I'm, I was pretty uh, pretty kind of down in the dumps over the deal. So we come back to this fish, hoping that maybe here in this minor feeding window we could catch it. And would you look at that? It worked. It's, uh, it's a dang nice fish. So we're going to measure it here quick, and we'll uh, do our thing, get it back. A beautiful, beautiful muskie, you guys. Dang nice and big. Forty, forty-seven and a half. Right? Yep. Forty-seven and three quarters, okay. actually. Forty-seven and three quarter fish. That is officially the biggest muskie I have ever caught. So I'm gonna give it one of these. Thank you. All right, we're gonna take some pictures, put her back. That's cool. I've been musky fishing probably 17 years, and I think after about year six, I caught my last biggest fish, which was a 47 back in the cities, and today it was a 47 and three quarter, my new biggest. Awesome. The old man net it last time and the old man net it this time. So I'm hoping I can return the favor and get him uh, his biggest yet in the net yet this trip. But you know, we're not gonna do that in filming interviews. So let's get back out there and fish. One of the special things about fishing Canada is that you never really know what you're gonna catch. You've got walleyes, you've got smallmouth bass, you've got big northerns, you've got muskies. I mean, it's, it's really just a mecca and a fisherman's paradise if that's, if that's what you're up there to do. And this fish here, this next fish coming up, is incredible. We were actually pitching crankbaits that we use out here on the Missouri River for walleyes uh, in the hopes of catching some smallmouth because that's what we were doing. We were pitching them right up into the rocks, giving them a few cranks and pausing, and we'd get smallies to bite. Uh, my dad was getting excited watching me catching all these fish, so he hopped right in and started doing it himself. And check out what he brought in. Are you filming me? I'm filming me filming you. Oh, nice. So, we're up in Canada, musky fishing, and what is uh, Pedro here throwing? Cut. Zipper shads, or whatever they're called. Some first chicken lure. Hey guys, we we just boated a nice musky, but uh, uh, this is a story. Unbelievable. We were sitting there, mid, uh, it's around 12.30, and we wanted to take a break from musky fishing, so we started throwing some uh, flicker shads, and uh, CJ had caught a couple of nice three pound smallies, and all of a sudden, I was kind of winding a little bit because I wasn't catching any, so he put a different lure on, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this right here, okay, this right here, caught what's in the net. We're going to take it out, measure it, take a couple pictures like we normally do, and then release it. But uh, I think our battle was, we're guessing, at least 10 minutes. It went, oh, couldn't see it, couldn't see it. We knew how it was running, that it had to be a muskie. It went under the boat. There was nothing we could do because you had a trolling motor and a big motor, and uh, somehow CJ came up once, was almost going to net it, and uh, we couldn't. It got out of the water. Went back down, and when it came back up again after a lot of battle, she's in the net. So let's get her going real quick. Uh, she's probably tired, but hey, here we go. Oh. All right, let's really check it out, okay? 
Okay, everyone, 47 and a half inch. Let's get her back in the water. Fight another day. Here we go. She's ready. She's a rock fish, you can tell by all the bangs up. I'm just gonna hold on to this one a little bit longer since goes. Woo! All right. Way to go, bud. Nice job. That's good teamwork. All right. Come on, McHugh. We got to have one more in us here. To there? Yep. Got him? Yep. Take him, hurry up, hurry up. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Okay. Hey everyone, this is our last night here up in Canada this year. Just took into a nice muskie. Um, it uh, tore a hole in the net. And if you remember from, I think it was last year, we had a hole in the net and lost a fish. Had a little panic, we got him. But uh, let's get her uh, out, a couple pictures measured, and get her back in the water. Um, it looks like in the previous, she had lost an eye. So this thing's been through some damage and I don't want to Hurt her any more than she already has been in the past. So here we go. All right, Lake of the Woods musk. There you guys have it. It's another exciting adventure me and the old man shared here on uh, Lake of the Woods. And every single year we're going to keep going back and every single year I'm hoping the old man is going to be able to, to net some of my fish. But uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. You know, we got deer season coming up real fast, so hopefully you guys will stay in touch with us. 
whether it's here on YouTube or on uh, my personal Facebook or on the Big Bear Outdoors Facebook page or any of the other staff's Facebook page. So once you guys uh, hit the field or hit the web, we'll be in touch. We want to see some big old deer pictures coming up real fast from you guys. So as always, good luck in the field and thanks for watching Big Bear Outdoors. And uh, see how long we can last. I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Shades on if you want. I don't care. You're not filming, are you? Yeah. See, that's them coming back around right there. Yeah. Yep. What's that? It's like my do I teeth sparkle? You guys all heard of where's Waldo? Well where's CJ? Oh wait. He is just about ready to pick up his lure. Yep. There he is. He's got it. He's got it. That fear shall what do we got so going on, CJ? Working on my underwater basket weaving techniques. As you can see, I'm not a very good basket weaver. How does something like that happen? I've uh, never had that happen to me before. I'd like to blame some finger slippage, but I don't think I'm going to get away with it on this, this journey today.